Hey everybody, welcome back. Tonight I was gonna do some fish, uh, some grill fish, and it's an Australian fish that uh, me and the wife love. It's called Barramundi. Don't know if y'all have it in your region, but if you do, try it out. It's really, really good stuff. Doesn't have a real strong gamey flavor. It's more, uh, more along the lines of tilapia. But it really does taste good. Anyway, this is what we're gonna do. I've got, uh, got it laying out here. I'm gonna coat it with a little bit of olive oil. Just make sure you coat it all over. There we go. That way it's not sticking to your grill. Alright, and I thought I'd try on some of uh, Tango Spice Company's, there you go, hey, how about that? Tango Spice Company. This is their Twist and Shout. If you haven't tried this yet, give it a shot. Excellent stuff. Alright, let's see what we got here. Let's get a little coating here. This doesn't have a lot of salt in it, so I'm going to add a little bit of salt. Which I forgot in the house. Hang on. Alright, got my salt back. A little bit of this uh, salt here. About like that. Flip her over. Same thing on the other side. I wanted to mention too, there's one thing that's a really handy handy thing with this uh, Tango Spice Company, the, the bottles that they have. I don't know if y'all can see this, but let's see if I can focus in on that a little bit. There you go, I think y'all can see that. See, there's three different openings. There's the, the full opening. Let's go this way. There you go. Full opening. And there's the kind of medium opening. And if you really want some uh, some of the coarser stuff like the seeds and whatnot that's in here, um, anyway, larger opening. So that's handy. Good job there, Tango Joe. All right, throw a little bit of salt on this. And rub it all in there. All right, what we're gonna do, we're gonna let this fish sit there because it doesn't take that long to cook. And I've got some other stuff we're gonna cook on the grill. All right, I got my grill on medium. And what I'm gonna eat tonight to go with my fish, I got some of these purple whole peas made by the Allens. If y'all haven't tried the Allens stuff, get you some of that too if y'all can get it. It's, you can order it online too, but that's some excellent stuff right there. Don't need any seasonings on this. You just pour it in the in the pot right there, a little thing right there. Shake it up a little bit, get the juice kind of distributed, and you just leave it on the grill. Just let it simmer. That's all I'm gonna do. Well, yeah, I'll do it that way. All right, we're gonna let that go for a little bit, and then uh, we're gonna melt some butter here shortly too. That's gonna go on top of the fish. All right, so I've got the uh, the beans over there cooking. Push them to the back because now I'm going to add uh, my, my butter lemon sauce, which I'm going to put on the fish when it's done. So I've got my butter here. I'm going to sit that on there. And we're going to let that melt and then we'll add some other stuff to it. Make it good for the fish. And I don't really have enough room for it, but uh, I am doing some rice with this dish as well. But I'm cooking the rice inside, and this is what I'm using for the rice. It's a rice pilaf toasted almond mix uh, made by Near East. There you go. There's their, their shot of fame right there. Anyway, that's some good stuff right here. I like that. All right, my butter's just about melted. And I went out in the garden and I, I picked me some uh, some fresh basil. 
That's good stuff right there, y'all. Need to plant you some, some herbs if you don't have any. Anyway, I'm going to put some fresh basil in this, uh, this butter stuff here. And this is fresh, so you don't need a whole heck of a lot. A little dab will do you. Just kind of break it up. Better yet. Oh, there we go. I got, uh, I got some scissors here. All right, sorry about the dog, y'all. Anyway, just kind of, kind of break this stuff up a little bit here, you know. Break it up and quarter the leaf here, and just kind of cut it with some, some, some shears here, some little scissors. That way you get a nice clean cut. You ain't mashing the stuff. I like these, I like these smaller leaves myself. And again, I'm just, I'm just kind of breaking the leaves up kind of quartering them and I'm cutting them. That's all I'm doing. Oh. It's going to be some good stuff here. All right, I'm going to do a few more of these. All right, I just pulled the butter off my grill. And it's hot. Throw a little bit of salt in there. Fresh cracked salt. Throw me a little bit of lemon juice in here. Doesn't take much lemon juice, that stuff's pretty strong. Maybe a teaspoon, if that. Alright, I'm gonna throw this uh this basil I got right here. Throw that in there. Just like that. Stir it around a little bit. Let it get all happy, happy. I'm gonna kind of simmer it on the grill a little bit, and then uh, right before the fish are done, I'm gonna add me some capers. So I got these capers I'm gonna put in there. So let me put this on the on the grill, and we'll start the fish up. Yeah, I just checked my purple hole peas. Check that out. They're coming along real good. Good stuff. See that steam coming off of there? Woo! Boy, that's hot. All right, we're going to simmer that in the butter and throw the fish on. All right, it's getting a little dark out here, but hopefully y'all can see this. Got my three fish all seasoned up with that Tango Spice Company seasoning and a little bit of olive oil, a little salt. Throw them on the grill. And we're going to let them go for uh, know, probably three four minutes on each side. We'll see. All right, everybody. I'll turn my fish over. We've been on there a few minutes. Should be good to go. They falling apart already. Dang, Joe, what you got in that stuff? That Tango Tango Spice Company. Sure does look good. All right, we're gonna let it go a few more minutes. All right, you gotta watch this stuff. That oil's flaring up over here. I need to move my fish. All right, and while that's going over there, I got my butter over here. I'm gonna throw a little bit of these uh, these capers right here. See that? I showed you that earlier. You don't need the juice, just the capers. And you throw them in at kind of the last minute. See how many that is there. And I can't really see that in there. Throw a few more in there. Here we go. All right, so we'll let that warm back up here. I've had it off the grill uh, the, while this fish was doing on the first side. So we're gonna let all this come together. And, uh, and those Allen's beans back there, those are those are looking mighty fine. They, they're nice and warmed up too. Y'all wanna see something funny? Check this out. I need some light for my grill, you know, cause it's kind of dark out here right now. See, see, it's really dark out here. Like that right there, see? Anyway, I needed some light for my grill. Had a flashlight, need a place to hold it. Look, check this out. All right, so what I got here, got me an old thermometer that don't work no more, and it's holding my flashlight. Shining right down there on my grill. How about that? That's what you call, that's what you call improvising. 
Learned that in Louisiana. Sure did. All right. All right, looks like everything's ready. See? Well, I ain't gonna touch it, that's hot. Got that butter, got the beans in the back back there. Got all my pretty fishes over here. Check that out, that's a good looking fish right there. My oh my. Got a third one back there in the back hanging out so it don't get all burned up. Anyway, I'm gonna pull all this stuff off here. You can really taste the basil in here along with that lemon. Well, that's gonna be some good stuff. All right, everybody, my dish is done. Here you go. Here's a good look at it. Plus some fine stuff right there. Threw a little bit of basil chopped up on there. Mmm. That rice is good. I'm tell you what. These Allen's purple hole peas. That's fresh out your garden right there. But it's in a can. Don't need no seasoning. Crazy, huh? Let's try this fish. Alright. Give me a good bite here. And again, I've got uh, the Tango Spice Company. That's our twist and shout. Got a little bit of butter. Well, that's a big bug. A little bit of butter and uh, basil. Capers on there. Y'all should try this. Mmm. 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 That's some good eating right there. I'm telling y'all. Give it a shot. You'll be impressed. And that uh, Bear Monday fish from Australia. Much better than tilapia. Much better. And it's. it's Again, it's, it's just a, a white fish. Not real gamey. Give it a shot. If you can find it. It's good stuff. Y'all come back.